We believe that one important source of materials for the future to use in packaging are wood fibers. We think that will play a fundamental role in creating the future sustainable package. We are at the Max4 laboratory in Lund in Sweden. So Max4 is the first fourth generation synchrotron in the world. Uh, we have pushed the development of how we build these facilities and we're providing an extremely brilliant x-ray source. We have together with Max4 identified certain technology areas where we believe both Max4 and us that we could have great use of these facilities. And in connection to that, we also collaborate with other departments at Lund University and other universities in Sweden and elsewhere. I work uh, a lot with the contact of food and the processing equipment, meaning that uh, when you have food uh, in uh, equipment, it will interact at the surfaces in different ways, create corrosion, and corrosion is uh, something that we specifically studied here at the Max4 uh, synchrotron. In this tube we see here transports the x-rays from the x-ray source through to our experimental station where our sample sits. We have access to some of the best x-ray neutron beams in the world and that means that we're able to dive deeper into the material at higher resolution to understand the, the finer details of the processes. So this will be a benefit um, not only to a company like uh, Tetra Pak, but also eventually to me as a consumer at the supermarket, in that we get uh, better and uh, more sustainable packaging material. It is important like in a journey like sustainability, where we want to change a lot of things at the same time, that we also create an understanding, a deep understanding of the technical system. Simulation-driven design is really entering the industry and we are really pushing that limit together with Lund University. So with experimental uh, mechanics we can actually observe what really happens in the material and we can quantify it. And the kind of knowledge that we produce can, uh, can be used to actually improve existing or future mathematical models. We have also improved our maturity on the model, so now we can really predict reality in the computer. We have been able to, to simulate the creasing process, for instance, in a full-scale 3D uh, example, in an actual production process, which is extremely nice. The long time that we have produced packages, 70 years, we know a lot, but why things happen as they do, there are question marks that we need to understand better. And we think by using simulation, we can get into a deeper understanding than we have today. And that will help us when we introduce new materials, new paper properties that is still on research floor today. When we innovate, we collaborate with different players and develop breakthrough solutions to lead the sustainability transformation in our industry. We innovate to protect the planet.